why do you think this show has turned into such a cultural touchstone? Um, huh. um, well, first of all, the, the name. I mean, I, I came on last year, but I mean, going back to my playing days on the West Coast, like it was, it's what you did. You woke up yeah. as early as you could because it's on earlier out there, obviously. And, um, you know, figure out who the guys are picking and watching and saying what, but the names, I mean, it's just gotten bigger and bigger. Uh, then you factor in Pat and, and Coach Saban coming on, like it doesn't get any better than those two guys. Um, but I think it, we resonate, you know, everywhere. And the idea of everybody wanting you to come to their place every week, which, which, which is impossible, mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, it's a fun. Some people call it a circus, but we look at it as, as a darn good time. And uh, it's it's just fantastic to see the reaction we get. And, um, you know the build up what these people do you know letting us in you know using the offices here like it's just it's great and uh my first time here and i'm super super fired up glad we glad we're here did you think you'd get to bloomington with a seven and oh who's your football team in the summer no <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you guys did either no. um but it's been awesome man it, it really has i mean i'm gonna talk about coach of the year through seven games uh you know the way he's pieced this roster together uh, you know, and then you look at the offensive line and how many fifth, sixth year guys like to make that mold. You got to know what you're doing, and obviously, coach has a stamp. I mean, we were at JMU last year for one of our biggest shows. Biggest show, I think. Biggest. Right? Okay. Um, and it's funny. I, I I was thinking about that this week because not once. I mean, we had twenty something thousand, twenty three thousand people. Not once in that show of three hours did we mention App State, and App State won. And yeah. beat JMU and cost them a, a cost them a uh, uh, undefeated season. So uh, knowing that Coach Sig was there for that, I'm sure he's learned from that. And uh, you know, there's a way of controlling. And he's he's the ultimate guy. I mean, the way he's kept guys motivated, talking to guys on the team with his halftime speeches. They've they've led. You know, they have a school record for consecutive games scoring 40 points. Like everything is rolling. But how do you stay motivated? And uh, that's the genius of what he's done. With all the ties to the to IU, you know. Coach Corso and you know Coach Saban and Signetti going back. I guess what's it been like bringing the show here? Uh, just the idea, of Coach. I mean, we're at the hotel this morning, and Coach Corso, he and I are in line getting a coffee, and the the, the look on people's faces, you know, the, the the members of the '79 team, and then like their spouses, and you know, just like it really hit you. Like I'm like, man, I you know, I was two years old in 1979. You know, I didn't I didn't know about the the bold the bowl team uh but you know just the genuineness of of here in bloomington like you just feel it and uh it's been awesome i mean pat being here uh we know what he's done in this state and like it's it's just gonna it's monstrous man like the, the stories you don't get that all the time where you can tie this in and, and coach corso and pat that that idea of that here uh is, is just awesome and we're very very lucky to, for the timing Pat's been a big proponent of this team and Coach Signetti, of course. How much did he play a part in getting the, the show here? Uh, I think we all were on the same page. Like when you looked at the possibilities, like we, you know, we love going to the biggest stories. And in this conference, when you talk about all the change that's been on, that's what makes it so awesome. It's a, it's an old Big Ten school, and the idea that we we did preseason, you know, the first game back in what was it, 2015. Oh, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ohio State. But now we get to, you know, get the stage out. We're outside the stadium. We get to go in. Like, it has that true big game feel. So that's, it's just, like I said, fortunate of the timing. It, it doesn't happen all the time where that works out that way. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Pat's been a huge proponent of coaches. I mean, he goes back. The Pittsburgh ties. Like, those guys are, are hardcore. Uh, remembering who who played with who, what high school you played, what year you played them in the playoffs. So it's awesome. Uh, it, it's, it just adds to the excitement level, and we're here. We're here. Have you kind of felt that excitement just walking around Bloomington and being around campus? Yeah. Yeah, it's different. I mean, people were jacked up uh, last night out at dinner and just fired up. I, I've tried to temper their expectations. I told them about JMU last year. They don't care. They, 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 the, the idea of seeing your team score 40-plus in seven straight weeks, it's kind of, I think, gotten to them. And it's all, I mean, they, they flipped the culture in you know the time he's been here um and that's what's awesome that's what it's supposed to be i always say this there's nothing you can't fake the excitement of the college campus it's just the general enthusiasm the energy um and it's it's sky high here uh as you can tell but 
I haven't even been here 24 hours. Steve, you may not know this, but Indiana does not have a mascot. Mm -hmm. So if, if Lee were to maybe pick IU to win this game, what would he use as a head? I don't know. I, 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 was, I was pushing for the candy cane pants, um, but he's usually sitting down, and we don't want to have to, you change. know, yeah, change. <laughs> um, but, no, I, I was reading about that. What is it, like in the 60s and 70s, they tried the whole bison thing? Bison, yeah, yeah that worked for about 10 minutes. Didn't work. And then there's a group that's still trying to bring it back or something like that. Oh man, it's who? Who's your Hoosier man at one time? Really? A, a big inflatable Hoosier man. Yeah. <laughs> he, he rode around a little moped. Uh, like, I, I, been, I don't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I haven't like that. I'm obviously is uh, getting decided. There's a plan. Uh, but I, I try and go in not knowing who he's going to pick. Okay. And I believe last week was the first week he didn't get it right. He's been on fire uh, with his picks, and he loves every single second of it. He's. We do a super dog segment, so you got to pick a, an underdog. Uh, and he's the first one every week to text our producer with his pick. So right. he's he's locked in, yeah. man. Don't worry about it. Feeling good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You doing all right? Yep. Good. You've been talking. Lee, Lee's got to be pumped up to be back. All the things that are going on for him, recognizing that bowl team that you already mentioned, good homecoming for him, uh, not having been able to do this before. How excited has he been talking to you about this? I, I tried to say in the coffee shop, like he was amazed. Um, you know, it's I, I can't imagine being his age and having that many memories and that, like at a place for 10 years, you know? And now you, I mean, I don't know when's the last time he saw half these people, uh, but like there's there's a resonation that those people, like he gave them a lot of the best times of their life. It happens in college all the time. You're gonna remember the best times and you remember the people you were around and the places you went. So the idea that they were able to do that that year is, I mean, what are we, 40 years, you know? More than that, 50, um, that's not great. Uh, but it's 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 true, you know. Like it, it just everything you would everything you wanted it to play out so far has with with the recognition and the love that you've been shown. It's, it's, it's great. With Kansas last year, now Indiana this year, you're looking at Assembly Hall as you talk to us. What's it like to see a basketball school, these basketball schools, become football schools? You know, I had an idea that I was going to, uh, I, you know, Stanford guy going to Cal. It had a little trolling in me. And I was like, should I wear a UConn gear? Because, you know, I'm going to a basketball school just to show people. But I, I did not. Again, this is Coach Corso and, and Pat's show. Um, it's, uh, hmm. it, I don't think it matters. Like, when, when you get this, you've got a ranking next to your name. Um, and, you know, the, I mean, every home game sold out, right, the rest of the way? Uh, like, that's, I don't, I don't care what kind. Like, you're, you're fo it's football season, you're a football school. And, you know, this fan base is starving success as a lot of other schools are and a lot of schools other will be super jealous of what you know the attention Indiana's got but they deserve it you know that's I mean they've done it themselves and that's you know everybody's like oh why don't you come to our place well, I'm like you're in control of that you know you, you become the topic we'll, we'll, we'll be there no matter where you are so um it's it's I, I don't I don't look at it that way I mean especially never being here I've never you know stepped foot in that so I just always remember as a kid they never lost in that building it was years Years. I just watch teams and laugh. I'm like they're not going to win this thing at all. So uh, it's it's really cool to be in a place with an iconic building. Do you plan on being going in there at some point? Yeah, yeah. I definitely want to walk around there. Uh, just it's it's one of the like not being like I got a chance to go to Fog Allen a couple years ago, and you're like, oh, okay, you got this. And just that building resonates on TV, which a lot of buildings now these newer ones, whether it's the crowd, whether the way they do the seats and the suites and all that. That building resonates TV, so I'm fired up to go over there. What what is Pat and Coach Saban? What have they added to the show, Saban, this year and Pat? Uh, right. Pat, obviously the energy, but like the idea of how he resonates with mm -hmm. you know the younger you know, the younger demo uh, has just been incredible, and it's only gotten bigger as we go different places. I mean, we're out in Cal and Oregon, two straight lines. We've got 3 a.m. wake-up calls out there to get ready for the show, and the place is jumping at 4 in the morning. Um, Coach is just, I think he's just up everybody's level, like not even having a speech or anything, just the account, the accountability right. of like, all right, Nick's coming on. Okay, people that are working on his segment, super dialed in, soft, but just the accountability has gone up mm -hmm. because of the, the, I think it's what what we wanted we thought his expectation might be, mm -hmm. and it's just made everybody better.
the success Indiana's had this year, what's it kind of been like for Lee to watch this from afar? Like, is, is it kind of making him happy from afar? It's, uh, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, he's, he's still not picking Purdue any week of the season. <laughs> uh, so he loves that, seeing them down and Indiana up. But yeah, I, it's, you know, he's he's down in the office. He's taking a couple walks. His son, I saw his son uh, was here. So like, it's, I think he's trying to take it in stride, but yeah, he's, he's super jazzed up that the Hoosiers are, are playing well. As a group, what do you got? You've seen uh, this team. You see a lot of teams play week in, week out. Where do you rank this team as far as being in the elite? Because they are definitely in the CFP conversation. No doubt. Um, I think it's interesting how, as we get farther in October, we still want to learn about teams. You know, we were in Austin last week, and when I'm going through it, I'm like, they kind of, it's not their fault. You can only play on, you know, who's on your schedule. But they hadn't played a team that could, you know, throw the ball with success. So I wanted to see that. And then, you know, you saw what happened with Georgia and how motivated they were. I think in the end, it's sort of the same lines. Like, they pummeled everybody they've played. There, there's an attitude to them. But can you manage these expectations? I mean, this is this is a big deal. Uh, Washington's got nothing to lose. I think Jeff Fish is a great coach. And the idea of Coach Sig now with the, having to do with a backup quarterback. I mean, like, going back and watching the tape, uh, I thought Taven was great because it's 28-7. Uh, he comes in the game, and I'm like, oh, they're just going to run the ball and get out of here with a win, you know, keep the undefeated seed. No. Four of the first six plays or passes, he throws two tuds, um, and they score 28 more points. So that puts on the gas, and I can't wait to see what they bring to the table tomorrow. That's all the time we have. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.